When it comes to achieving a professional looking finish, knowing how to correctly aim and move your spray gun across your work surface can be the difference between a sloppy, unprofessional looking paint job and a great one. A good spray pattern is evenly distributed as it hits the surface. This is a good spray pattern. To achieve a consistently good spray pattern, follow these simple steps. Hold the spray gun 12 inches from the surface and aim straight at the surface. Tilting the spray gun to direct the spray angle results in an uneven finish. The speed at which you move the spray gun will have a direct effect on the application. If the material coverage is too light, you are moving too fast. If the material coverage is too heavy, you are moving too slow. Flex your wrist as you move the gun across the surface you're spraying. Fanning the gun causes it to no longer be perpendicular to the wall and will result in an uneven finish and excess overspray. Using a test surface, test your spray pattern. Turn the pressure control knob to a midway position. While holding the gun 12 inches from the test surface, disengage the trigger lock and spray a test pattern. If the pattern has heavy edges, often called tails, slowly increase pressure and continue to spray test patterns until the hard edges are replaced with a soft, blendable spray pattern. When spraying, hold the gun slightly beyond the area you want to spray. Begin moving your gun and then squeeze the trigger while the gun is in motion. Likewise, don't stop the gun's motion when you release the trigger. Instead, release the trigger while the gun is still in motion. This technique prevents blotches of thick coating at the beginning and end of each stroke. To maximize efficiency when spraying on broad, open surfaces, such as ceilings and bare walls, spray the outside edges first, then aim at the middle of the previous stroke, overlapping each new stroke by 50%. When spraying inside corners, don't spray back and forth. Instead, aim the spray gun's tip into the corner and work alongside the corner's length. Also, it's tempting to just crank up your sprayer's pressure control to the maximum and slap on the material, but the results will be undesirable. Instead, dial down the pressure as low as you can without creating tails in your fan pattern. Not only will you spray a more consistent finish, you'll minimize the amount of overspray and you'll reduce wear on your pump and on the spray tip. By following these simple rules, you'll help ensure your ability to achieve the best finish possible.